it was really nice to throw this entire show together for the first time to really introduce what graphic design is to the Kutztown community and more a place where there's fine arts to really bring in the graphic design aspect. I wanted to bring graphic design into an artistic light as opposed to a commercial light. This show was really like kind of a kind of a blessing because uh, we got to work each other work with each other. We got to uh, we were forced to work with each other. There's this egg house. They're having a gallery with CD students, which was very very different from all the fine arts things. So I'm like, hey, I'm like why not? It wasn't an art show. It was a graphic designer show and a graphic design show as a whole, which is extremely different because whenever you come to a gallery usually it's a different kind of setting in that it's very fine art and a lot of things are more the artist's interpretation of what emotions they were feeling and what ideas they wanted to convey. The general layout of shows here is generally an overall theme. Um, we did something a little bit different. We wanted to show the entire variety that we do as designers. The whole thing we painted on the walls and um, I had Mike printed out vinyls that we taped and uh, he painted a mural and, and just like hanging illustrated pants off the wall. These were all things that, that really would set us apart than, than just hanging framed work on a gallery wall. That's pretty important. In a graphic design show, it's really different because of the fact that all this has a very applied edge and a very applied thought behind it. This is not art for the sake of art, even though some of it may be. Mostly, it's art for an application, and that is something that I've never seen at a gallery, and that's why I believe that this is really a different movement here for the Eck House Gallery in Kutztown, PA. We spend all these hours doing work um, uh, all the time, and just becomes like a like a way of life. So it, there really wasn't any. We weren't like, oh man, we got to work together. I don't think this is going to work out. Like it just kind of happened, you know, naturally, like flowing and and whatnot. And uh, I mean, you know, we just we we all helped each other up hang everything, and we all kind of did uh, our own work and everything. But uh, collaboration was just came natural. definitely always a learning process. Graphic design tends to be a little bit of a prideful thing where you're always trying to one-up a peer. It's, it's just how it works. Everyone has their own style, uh, but we're all still young, so we're still trying to find exactly what that is. Working and collaborating with other people is one of the best ways to learn. Being in that kind of community really makes you grow and expand. Design is a really hard thing to define. It's so much of our media today. It's, it's everything that surrounds us. It, it's just a very wide medium. The physical medium for us in graphic design makes a massive difference just because we have to always make sure that form meets function and actually form follows function more so because in the graphic world, you have to design for exactly the vehicle or the type of communication that's going to go out there. So I'm really happy this came out so well. Everything around here is just magnificent. I can't believe everything like just organized. Everyone came around. There's so many people here just to appreciate just the communication design, like art gallery. It's something that I do all day regardless of job title. Especially with these things, it's really just a means to show people what we've done. People tend to just look at a package and forget that somebody designed that. So when you put it in this setting, it really helps you get more work or freelance or uh, get people noticed. And the good thing about being a graphic designer is you don't have to live in the same state to collaborate. You can just email these days, you know, so it's like, we'll work together again. <laughs>